Hi, I'm Mira and welcome to Flow with Mira. We have a beginner full body class today that's going to leave you feeling rejuvenated and ready to seize the day. So come on up, let's go to our mat. We're going to start our class lying on our back. Roll to your side, then head on to our back. Okay, so just grab your legs here and I want you to hug your legs to your chest. How are you today? How's your body feeling today? Have a quick scan in the body. So I like to have my legs apart. You don't have to bring them together, but just keep them slightly apart or quite wide apart, depending on your hip flexibility today. Now, with them being apart, it has a little bit more space for my hip to be in a deeper fold here. So less stress on my hip here. So just take a moment, inhale, as you lengthen the spine onto the floor. Exhale, as you ground yourself to the floor. So sense of heaviness of the body with the floor. Inhaling to lengthen the spine. Can we get the whole back on the floor? Exhale. Can we anchor yourself one with the mat? Take your time to breathe in and breathe out. This is the moment where you bring your focus to your breath. You bring yourself onto the mat and you prepare your mind and your body for an amazing class. In breath, as you lengthen, continue pressing your thigh to your chest. Exhale, as you ground yourself down. Now straighten your left leg down on the floor. Reach it long and keep your right thigh to your hand, with your hand and with your, to your chest. And take the left arm overhead as well at the same time. So we inhale again, having that lengthening sensation in the body, flattening the back down on the floor, reaching the limbs away from your center. Exhale, deepening the body. Let's almost feel like I'm actually sinking my body to the mat. And I imagine that the mat is like sand. So I in, as I inhale, I want to create a little bit more space in my body. Then as I exhale, I want to have a bigger, deeper print of my body onto the sand. And bring them in, let's switch to the other leg. So we have your right leg down onto the floor, stretch long, and the right arm overhead. Just using our breath to open up our body. to deepen our intention and focus for the work that we are doing so that we can have a more meaningful practice today. Inhale to reach and lengthen. Exhale to ground yourself down. One more. How long can you be? And how deep can you print yourself to the floor? You may close your eyes. You may focus on wanting, you may focus your eyes on wanting on the ceiling or just on to the body. And let's bring them in. And compressing again, inhale. Exhale, let the feet down one at a time. Bring the feet together and open your knees out to the side in a diamond leg position. And just lift your head for me for a second and just do a little checkpoint that your hip and your ribs are in one beautiful alignment, that your pelvis is not shifting on one side or not rotating to one direction more than the other. And then bring yourself down and bring the heel of your palm resting on the hip bone and your fingertips towards the pubic bone here. We're just gonna use our breath to set ourselves again to set ourselves and get connected to our deep, deep abdominal muscle, our transverse abdominus. So as we inhale, 
Can we expand our rib cage onto the floor and sideways? But as we exhale, we're drawing in the abdominal towards our spine without rocking the pelvis, without disturbing your lower spine. Just literally feeling a sense of like a tense, a tension into our abdominal, in our abdominal, that is, it's better English, <laughs> a tension, a sense of tension in our abdominal, drawing the abdominal towards the spine. In breath, as we expand the rib cage. Exhale, deflating the abdominal wall, sinking it towards the spine. Now we have a lot of things in life that we cannot control, but there are also things in life that we can control. And one of them is to have a much improved well-being, which you are doing now, doing a class with me. Thank you for being here with me. And the other thing is, to improve our well-being, it's how can we be more sensitive to the feeling, sensation that we have, that we experience in our body, which is a real thing, that sensation, emotion. Now, right now, what is our body doing? How can we get deeper into our TVA? How we contract the abdominal? What is our position? There's so many things we can think about here. So I just want you to be more open and more vulnerable about your feeling a sensation in your practice today so we can go a little deeper, right? Deeper, which is going to make us, you know, progress a lot more in our practice here. One more here in breath. Exhale, drawing in that TVA, really tensing the abdominal wall into our spine. And I would let that go and bring our feet knees parallel, feet parallel, open your arms up to the side, walk your feet to the edge of the mat or even outside of the mat. Drop your legs to me for the hip rolls. You can turn your head over to the other side. Just gonna stretch out back and the hip and back to center. And then drop your knees over to the other side, turn the head over to the other way. Exhale, come back. So I guess the intention for this class is I like you to be vulnerable with sensation, the feeling that you experience in your body. And that way you become aware of what your body is meant to do, of where your body is in space, and how, you, and how your body react to the movement and dropping and come back to center. Let's walk our feet to a parallel position. So let's be vulnerable to our sensation and emotion today. All right, let's have your feet in a parallel position here. I want you to gently press the feet down. So you're, you're printing the sole of your feet onto that sand and gently drag the feet towards the pelvis. So you feel your muscles at the back of your legs is now activated. All right, so some pelvic curls. Let's start with pelvic rocks first. So, as you press down, I want you to flatten the lower spine to the floor using the abdominal muscles. So that tensing feeling in abdominal and the bottom comes off the floor and release back down again. Keep those legs active. As we exhale, we flatten the lower spine to the floor. The tailbone comes up. Inhale, lengthen out. And exhale, flattening and releasing back to that neutral pelvis. Again, exhale, just making sure that your feet are in parallel and the heels of the feet are just about a fist distant from each other. And let's do one more here. We rock away and we lengthen back down. As we inhale, let's take your arms overhead, making sure that the rib cage do not pop up. So sending the Lengthening the lower rib cage down to the pelvis here. Let's continue with the rocking. We exhale. We're going to flatten the lower back. So it gives you a little bit more stretch. And, but keep your arms active overhead, please. And inhale to lengthen the pelvis to the neutral pelvis position without popping the rib cage off the floor. Exhale. We rock and flatten. Inhale. We lengthen. Are your feet still active here? Exhale. 
Inhale. Last one, exhale. So many things to think about as we just do this pelvic rock here. All right, and let's take your arms down by the side. Let's move on to the pelvic curl. So we breathe that, again, flatten your lower back. And then continue as you press the feet even more. Articulate the spine to that bridge position here. Can we press the feet even more? So we can lift the pelvis more and keep the arms active, reaching to the feet too. And as you exhale, we soften the upper back to the floor, the middle back, the lower back, then the pelvis, and then the tailbone, the sitting bone reaching to the feet again. We exhale. Keep that continuous scanning through the body as we progress from one exercise to another. Keeping our mind busy and exhale, roll it down. It's also kind of like a sense of meditation we have while we practice here. So keeping us in that flow. And if you find yourself, let's do that again. We roll up, rolling up, articulate yourself up. And if you find yourself starting to drift away, thinking about what's for lunch, oh my God, what am I gonna do after this? Catch yourself and bring that intention to your body and start scanning, asking yourself, oh, what's my feet doing? Oh, how does that go with my feet? Or how's my inner thighs doing? And can I feel it? Can I articulate more? There's so many conversations that you can invite yourself to create a deeper, meaningful practice, just being vulnerable with our sensation, which is a very much real thing. And roll it down, roll it down, roll it down. Okay, brilliant. Let's take your arms up to the sky here. We're going to reach the arms to the sky. So we're gonna peel off the shoulder off the floor and then we're gonna drop it down. So we pull away the shoulder off the floor. I'm gonna drag it down and then pull away. And you know what, let's drop instead of drag, drop, fun. Inhale, reach up and drop. So allow the shoulder to settle down to the floor heavily, heavily, <laughs> being heavy, bit of gravity, and down. Last one, reach and back down. Brilliant, take your arms down by the sides. Now straighten the knee away from me. So the thighs are in the same diagonal position here. Now, as you do that, hold this position. We exhale. Can we draw that lower abdominal deeper to the floor? Keep that pelvis in a neutral position. Inhale, can we lengthen the legs away? Exhale, drawing in with the abdominal and upward towards the spine. In breath. Exhale, and breath. Last one, are you stable? Is your lower back being pulled off the floor? Can we actually use that abdominal to anchor that lower back in a stable position? Right, then we continue lower as we exhale. Again, really drawing the abdominal and then flex the foot as we inhale up, exhale. Pulling up in opposite direction, abdominal, and then up, and a reach, and up, and reach, and up. Last one, reach, and up. We bend the knee, we take the foot down, then we straighten the other knee, thighs aligned, and again, have that conversation in our body as we exhale. How much can we deflate the abdominal muscle to protect our spine, to support our pelvis? Inhale. How far can we reach the leg, opening the hip joint without disturbing the pelvis position? Exhale. How much can we pull in? How deep can we go? Inhale. How long can we be? Exhale. Watch the shoulder, don't let them pop off the floor. I just caught myself doing that. And so the basic work in Pilates is super, super important. Once we get that technique right, 
the intermediate and the advanced work is going to be so much more fun to do. Okay, then we exhale, inhale, exhale, reach, inhale, exhale, reach and lengthen, inhale, fall into, exhale, reach and lengthen, in breath. Last one, in breath, reach and lengthen, bend the knee, take the feet down, have your feet together, arms open to the side for a spine twist supine. Now squeeze the legs together over to me. Inhale as we rotate from the spine, from the waistline, keeping the legs together, anchor the shoulders down. Exhale, you return the legs from the waistline. Inhale over, exhale. Taking care that you do not just drop your legs down. You wanna control this movement so the intention here is to activate your obliques muscles on the side of the waist here. Inhale. Can you be sensitive about the feeling of this exercise in your body? Are your legs are together? Are your inner thighs are working? Ask yourself this question. Are your shoulders anchoring down? You can, you can make this exercise easier or harder for you to do. You can make it easier by just flopping the legs down and lifting it up. But you can make it more challenging by, you know, being detailed, having good intention and having this constant conversation in, with yourself. Am I doing it? Am I, am I using my inner thighs? And then come back to center and let's Continue. Let's have your feet slightly apart. So interlace your hands behind your head for the chest lift. The elbows come off the floor and then keep those feet active as we exhale, lengthening the lower back down to the floor. Then we fold the upper chest. Now allow your head to be heavy in your hands, kind of like a hammock, and then use the upper abs to fold, fold, fold. How? Commit to the shape here. Arms forward. Grab the thigh. Use your arm and help yourself a little deeper. Can we go a little higher? Can we get a little bit more lengthening of the lower spine to the floor? And then we transfer our hands back and we return. We breathe out, lengthen the lower spine. We fold ourselves up. Allow your head to be heavy in your hands. In breath, arms forward and pull ourselves up, up. Up, arms back, and return. Exhale, we we'll lift. Inhale, reach forward and come up. Arms back, return. Exhale, inhale. There is a spider on the wall. I'm gonna continue teaching and ignoring that there is not a spider on the wall. It's pretty big. Exhale. Inhale, reach forward. Now let's hold that. Take your arms forward here. Now from here, rotate towards me. Over. Now hold that. Grab the thigh with your hands, lift off the floor. I want you to lift both shoulder blades off the floor, but try to keep the pelvis stable. Lifting up, lifting up, and come back, reach your arms forward, and center over to the other side. I don't know if you can see, but this part is pretty big, and it's crawling down. I might have to... Be brave here and focus. Exhale and lift up. Arms forward, reach over. Exhale. Okay, in breath, lift up higher. Arms forward and return. Exhale, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> okay. Now we handle the spider and come back to teach again. So where were we? Apologize, let's stick your arms up. Let's lift up, 
It was a very big spider. Rotate towards me, grab the thigh and lift that chest up. So try to get the shoulder blades off the floor. We breathe that, we just hold the shape here. And then we're gonna take the arms forward, come back to center, over to the other side, grab the thigh and lift up higher. The spider was as big as my palm. And I wasn't kidding you, I was quite nervous about it, but we managed and handled that. And raise your arms forward, let's go one more each side, we rotate. Grab the hands behind the thigh, lift up higher. We reach the arms forward, center, keep the height of the chest, hands, and lift up higher and reach the arms back to center. What I want you to do now is lift one leg, lift the other leg, squeeze them together, lift the bottom, rock up, and start rocking yourself up to sitting. So let's do another five and four. See if you can get yourself a little higher to roll up or rock up two. And last one, um, Boom, we come up, brilliant. All right, let's have your feet down, readjust the pelvis position, and hands underneath the thigh. I don't know if you like spider, I really, really do not like it. I was quite nervous about it. So here we go, hands here. One of the perks of living in a tropical country. Inhale, now exhale, we're going to round the spine into that C curve. Then we're gonna keep those feet active. Feel like the feet drag into your pelvis, then roll back, round back, till your arms are straightened. But I really wanted to have that concave sensation or shape in the body when you roll back and then come back forward as we exhale and then lengthening through the spine, upright. Exhale, pull that feet towards the hip joint as we round. So the back of your, mu the muscle of the back of your legs are active and then continue drawing the abdominal as deep as possible to the spine to straight, until your arms are straight and in breath. Exhale, come forward and lift up. Exhale, we round, we roll back, in breath, exhale, forward, and we lift. Okay, now we straighten the legs and try to keep your back nice and long here. In fact, you know, if flexibility is an issue today, I just want you to focus on keeping your back upright and just straighten your knees as far as they can go without losing this upright alignment. We take the arms forward, have your feet flexed towards you. Exhale, we roll down the spine and bring your body forward and down. Inhale, Lengthening through the spine. So have the sensation of elongating and growing taller in a flexion position in the spine. Then we exhale, we roll back up and lifting tall. Exhale, we roll down and forward, 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 in breath. Exhale, we pull back in it with the abdominals to lift our spine up. Again, exhale, roll forward and down, stay in flexion, inhale, lengthen the spine even more. Exhale, we stack up. One more, please. Exhale, rounding forward and down, in breath. And exhale and up, we go tall. Brilliant, half your feet in, bend the knees, half them hip width distance apart, take your hands behind you. We're going to do our back support modified here. So hands long, hands long, arms long, your fingertip facing towards your bottom and your or you can also go slightly out to the side. If your wrist are not as flexible as mine, that's fine. Just adjust them 
as needed. From here, press chest long back, press the feet down, lift the pelvis so you create a table-like position. I like you to really push the feet down, push your hands down and press up the bottom and your spine, folding through the hip joint, keeping the spine long. We press down, we push up, we fold through the hips, we lift our chest up to the sky and press down, push up, fold through the hip. Last one here, we press down, we push up and up and up and up more and then come down. Brilliant. Okay, and let's turn yourself face me. Onto your forearm, half your knees bent and stack your legs together. Top hand here, I want you to just sway that spine down here, but then I want you to breathe out, pull up, armpit, ribs, waist, and you feel this lower obliques working and supporting you. And make sure this shoulder doesn't roll forward, so push back and down into the armpit hole. And then again, one more, push back, down, lift all the underneath muscles up, and then from here, we lift the pelvis up and we lengthen down. Notice I used the word lengthen, I just said don't drop down. So lengthening down. So lift is we go down with control. All right, resist. Resist gravity and lift and resist gravity. Two more. Lift. Be as elegant as you can today. Last one, lift and brilliant. Other side, we have the forearm down. We are going to sway to start and then we're going to pick up shoulders back and down, armpit, rib cage, waistline, everything up towards the midline. And then we're gonna sway down again, giving you a best sexy pose here kidding. Exhale, press down, lift up, 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 and let's go up with the pelvis, and then down with the hip, and up, and down. Keep the center girdle nice and active to support your whole structure. And two more, lift, and down. Last one, lift, come down. Very good, okay. Now let's go into our front here, onto our forearm. So we're gonna go into diamond, one hand stack on top of the other. I have my right hand above my left hand. I want to have my legs nice and long here and send my sitting bone towards my feet so I can activate my hamstring, the muscles at the back of my thigh here. My head is just floating off my hands. I'm thinking of drawing my shoulder blades or gliding my shoulder blades down towards my middle back. And I wanna create that lift in my abdominal and drawing my abdominal towards my spine and down through my tailbone. So my lower abs are working, my lower spine is supported. And then as I inhale, I continue gliding my shoulder blades and drag my forearm towards, oh, imagine it, you're dragging, you're not really dragging. So pull my forearm towards my shoulder to assist me to come up into an extension. And at this point, I'm feeling my middle back, my upper back working to help me up. My neck is still long, my legs are active, and I come down. And I inhale again, I repeat that, dragging my shoulder blades down, pulling my forearm towards my shoulder, and sending my sternum forward and up. My neck is still long, my gaze is still down on the floor. And exhale, we go down. And at all time, my abdominal is active here. So abdominal still active, gliding my shoulder blades down as I inhale. And forward with my chest and up, 
long with my neck, arms muscles are working, and come down. I want you to lift up from the tip of the head, the neck, the upper back. So progressively take it up towards my middle back. And try not to push off the floor with your arm. And down. So a good imagery that I always use myself is imagine I'm a turtle and I'm trying to come out of my shell. So I got this long neck. I start to poke my head forward and I start to stretch my neck forward and up. Forward and up, forward and up, forward and up. Have that sense of curiosity, curiosity in my spine as I extend forward and up. Can I go a bit deeper? And then last one. And drawing the shoulder blades, reaching the legs away, pulling forward and up. Can I go taller? Can I go longer? And can I go deeper in that back muscle? Now hold that for me, please. Engage your right leg, lift the right leg up. Support your spine with the abdominal and lower. Engage my left leg and lift my left leg up and down. And try not to rock too much in the pelvis. There is some sense of rocking there, but not aggressively. So you want to keep your center active. And again, be sensitive about what your pelvis is doing. Is it one side rocking more than the other? Can you try to make it even? And lift. Are you jamming into your sacrum? So have this conversation happening with yourself, with your body. Right, so lift the lower abs as you reach the leg. One which side, back is still long. Reach. Last one. Reach. And come on down. All right, bring your forearm to the side of the body. Push the floor away. Sit back to your rest position and come up onto your Hands and knees for a quadruped position. Stack the shoulder with your hands. Stack the knees with the center of the hip. And then push the floor away. Broaden the shoulder. Lift up the abdominal. Keep the spine long. As you breathe out, pick up your deep abdominal muscle. Draw into the spine so you have a nice strong structure here. And then continue the journey into a round back for your cat stretch into a long neutral spine, hold the lower abs, then take our upper body like we did before into an extension. And two more, exhale. Actively push the floor away with your hands and your legs. Lengthen through the spine. Inhale, glide in the shoulder blades and you give space in your upper back to take yourself to an extension. And exhale, push off, round. Flat back, upper back arch, and release. Bring your legs forward. We are going to finish the class with our rolling like a ball. So let's get the shape right. Hold on to your legs just above the ankle bone. Feet are together. Now balance on your tailbone. So find your tailbone. Where is it? Got it. So it's not the sitting bone here. Your back is in a round back position, but we're not collapsing into that round back. We want to have that opposition lift. So long round back. Now take your feet off and find that balance. Your arms needs to work. So use this bicep to lock the shape. Gaze to the pelvis. Shoulders nice and easy. Neck is long. We inhale to roll to the shoulder. The bottom come up and come back. Now as you roll back, your head is off the floor, your bottom is off the floor. Inhale, round, exhale, forward. Inhale, round, lift, exhale, forward. So imagine a bowl shape, right? So your circle. As you roll back, the bottom should come off. If your bottom is down on the floor, then you're not a bowl. Your ruler, and then roll your square. And come back. Two more. In breath. Exhale. Try not to fling the legs. In breath. Exhale. We balance. We balance more. We balance more. And lower the feet. 
open the knees, flatten the back, push the sternum forward, elongate the chest up and take yourself into a higher release. Come back to center, close the legs. And my friend, that was a beautiful class done by you. Excuse the spider incident. It was quite nerve wracking. A well done for sticking with me and doing the whole class with me. Now go away, stay mobile, stay hydrated because you did a lot of beautiful work today. And stay vulnerable with the feelings today and allow the flow that you experience expand to surrounding and really have a beautiful day. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow on a mat again. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoy this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.